Hey, it's Fit Gear Hunter here with a comparison of the new Garmin 4Runner 745 to the 4Runner 945. So there has been a lot of talk about the 745 and now the price drop on the 945. So the most important thing is just to look at the details for what is different. Now this is the Fit Gear Hunter and we also there's also the fitgearhunter.com, a website that sort of keeps all the reviews all through the YouTube channel, but all the reviews sort of organized by type. So you can look at a bunch of different device reviews there as well. And the whole point of the site, the whole point of the channel is to review devices that are purposeful for tracking your CrossFit, high intensity interval training, cross training, training program, devices that really accurately dive into the depth of workout analysis and recovery time and training load and helping you develop you know, a, a steady cadence for continuing to improve your fitness. So what are the differences? And we're gonna get into a hands-on in a second just to see some of how they look in real, real life. But in, in, I'm gonna go not off the spec sheet because some of this is different. So the 945 is listed at 47 millimeters across by 13.7 millimeters thick. I'm also gonna compare the 745 to, and I did the wrong hand there, but I'm gonna compare the 745 to the 245. So the 945, 47 by 13.7, when in actuality, it's really 46.7 millimeters, but it's by 15.3 millimeters thick when you include the heart rate sensor. The 745 is 44 or 43.3 millimeters thick. So that's a four millimeter difference in size, and it is 14.3 millimeters thin. So it's one millimeter thinner. The weight is somehow about the same. We're just gonna take a quick break here because I'm about to say the 245 weighs 50 grams and I really mean to say the 945. So the 945, 50 grams, the 745, 46 grams. One of the things I forgot to mention in the overview of all the differences is the brightness of the screens. So the 945 is unique in the whole Transflective universe as well as the whole Garmin lineup. The 945 has a full brightness of 145 lumens. When you compare that to the Phoenix 6 at full brightness of 65 lumens and the Garmin 245 with 27 lumens and the Coros with 27 lumens and the Polar Vantage V2 with 27 lumens or just five lumens when you're doing a wrist raise on the gesture, you think about the 945 is at 145 lumens. So it is significantly bright, over twice as bright as the Phoenix 6. Well, the 745 has adjustable backlight. And that's one thing I forgot to mention. It has adjustable backlight versus the 245, but similar to the 945 and the Phoenix 6. And the full lumen brightness is 70 lumens or just under 69 lumens. So the 945 is twice as bright, but the 745 is just as bright at full brightness as the Phoenix 6 whole line of watches and twice as bright as the 245. So let's get back to that misspoken 245 weighing 50 grams. I don't know how the 245 does it because the 245 is coming in at 40 grams. The 745 is coming in at 46 grams. So a little bit lighter there. But the big difference is the 945. And I'm going to break down just the big differences right out of the gate. The 945 is a bigger case, has twice as much battery life, so 14 days for seven days, and includes topological maps. I don't know if I said that correctly, but includes a full map of wherever you are. You can zoom in and out and you know you can find points of interest. It'll route you to that. Now, the 745 will give you like a breadcrumb route back to where you came from, but it does not include maps. So the 945, you're not gonna get you know, 945, you're gonna be able to do like golfing and skiing and be able to see your whole, you know, topological map system. The 745 will not include all of that. They both are now going to be offering Garmin's advanced sleep metrics, which is a uh, first beat analytics, higher calculation of how good your sleep was and how that ties in. They both will include Garmin's improved recovery time. They both have the ability to turn on pulse ox all day long and that'll kill your battery life or do pulse ox just during your sleep to see how your oxygen level was through the night. They both have Garmin Pay. They both do yoga and Pilates and they'll show you the movements and the poses. They both do multi-sports. They both have the analytical training load types for highly aerobic, lowly aerobic, or anaerobic. And they both do a training effect analysis for the intensity of the workout based on aerobic training effect and anaerobic training effect. So they both calculate your load across time. 
They both do all those same things. They both have Climb Pro. They both have barometric altimeters and gyroscopes and you know accelerometers. They both have you know temperature sensors. They both will track all day respiration. They both will give you a storm alert in different scenarios. So from a CrossFit training perspective, the 745 is just a smaller case with a smaller battery life. Now, most of us in the CrossFit and high intensity interval training community, we really just want things that'll give us deep workout analytics. And the 745 includes the full package of workout analytics when it comes to training effects so the intensity of your workout, evaluated from anaerobic anaerobic, and the training type, load type. So a highly aerobic, lowly aerobic, and it'll accumulate that over time. And I'll show you just a quick hands-on of how it looks in the watch. But you'll see all these things in the full review for the 745, and you could see these in the full review for the 945. So those are the primary differences there between these two. And so we're gonna get into hands-on, but just to quickly touch on what's the difference in the 245 from these two devices. Now, this was 600, this was 500, or is 500. This now, you know, has gone down to uh, less. Now it's $500 for the 945. But what's the difference in the 245, which with music, and I'm just gonna compare the music option of 350. So the 245 versus the 745. The 245 doesn't include a barometric altimeter, so you won't get your stair count. Doesn't include respiration all day. It is a one millimeter, one half millimeter, smaller circle of the head and it is 10 or 12 grams lighter. So 12 than the 947, 10 than the 745. So seven day battery life, so the same as the 745 there. You can only do pulse ox during your sleeping, but it's the 245 does include pulse ox tracking for your respiration or oxygen level overnight. There is no you know, thermometer, no th thermo checking. So with both the 945 and the 745, you can get your temperature changes throughout a workout. That doesn't really have a lot of value. There's no Garmin pay on the 245. You can't get the little pictures of the yoga or the Pilates. You don't get the load focus. You just get a load of uh, you know, accumulation. So not highly aerobic, lowly aerobic, anaerobic, but you will get the training effect, the workout analysis aerobic versus anaerobic for the impact of the workout on your overall fitness. You will get recovery time and even the 245 has Garmin's new improved recovery time, which takes into account your body battery, which is on both of these, and your sleep and impact. But the sleep on the 245 is Garmin's own algorithm, Garmin's own calculation. So you will not get first speed analytics, which will not appear as a widget on the watch when these two update, because they currently don't have it, has not been yet uploaded. Um, but they will have the advanced sleep metrics on these and you can't do open water swimming and some minor things that on the 245 versus the 745, but the 745 and the 245 beside it do not have maps, but the 745 does have higher level analytics when it comes to workouts and barometric altimeter and things that go with that, like climb pro. So that's it. There's not a significant difference other than price and now not so much price between the 745 and the 945. The 945, you just wanted a more compact. The 745 is fantastic. It's lighter, barely, but it's smaller. So it's one millimeter thinner and four millimeters less you know, wide. So that's the basic breakdown. Let's look at a hands-on, but stay tuned. I'm gonna do a review for the 745. I've got a new Fossil Gen 5 I'm gonna do a review for. And the biggest thing I'm most excited about is a full analytical review of the Garmin Elevate heart rate sensor that is on all of the primary Garmin watches right now. So analytical review as it comes to CrossFit and high intensity interval training. The biggest thing I always say is you have to use a chest strap. I like what I'm seeing so far, you know, Polar in their Precision Prime 2 got a low score, got a 60, like an F, and you know, other devices are in the similar range. So I'm getting a better score here, wait till the full results are in, but all of the watches use the same thing. So they're basically gonna get the same heart rate optical accuracy. So that's it. We're not gonna get into much more detail, but let's look at a hands-on. This is the Fit Gear Hunter. Please stay tuned for more and subscribe for more for future updates and future reviews as it relates to CrossFit training and high-intensity interval training. Thanks so much. Okay, and looking at the 745 alongside the 945, we only see the primary differences are in the body. Like we talked about in the overview, there are just minimal differences other than maps and the things mentioned, but the body itself is the primary difference in some of the benefit of what you would choose the 745 over the 945 over because of what the 745 lacks. So you can see they both have the three buttons on the side and the two buttons on the fourth side, this little color accent on the 745. 
Um, obviously, these are at full brightness, and you can see that the, well, don't have the wrist raised gesture on, but the colors are a little bit blacker in the 945. So that's been a significant thing from Garmin is, will you get more washed out colors? And they are a little bit more washed out on the 745. So we can now confirm that it is a slight color difference, meaning the, the colors are just not as crisp. The black is not as black as it is on the 945. That is actually a huge difference in my opinion. You can see the little load focus, but everything else when looking at these is relatively similar. So looking at the sizes, like I said, there's a slight difference in, in the size from what's mentioned on the package. The thickness, the 745 is actually one millimeter thinner than the 945. You have the quick release 20 millimeters versus the quick fit that I've converted this to. So the 945 comes with a fixed bar, which you unscrew and you can get, you know, quick fit to work. You can see it's just like a little baby version. The casing feels exactly the same. They both feel just like, you know, thick, thick dense plastic. The heart rate sensor is the Garmin Elevate heart rate sensor that's come out on all the primary watches recently. So there's no real primary difference there. You see the barometric altimeter in the middle of the back, the same charging cable connection. Um, you know, the band itself just feels like one of the traditional Garmin bands. And when you look at the actual functionality of the watch, it really, you know, all the screens are basically the same. When you go through them, they're the same overall experience. Um, there's no real difference. So I'll try to do this side by side in a way that makes sense. So I have the body battery listed first. So let's just go into the training status, training status. Again, the black is a lot blacker on the 945. That is a significant benefit of that, this version of screen over the other. Low tracking, everything is the same in the overall benefits. It all transfers over because of Physio True Up. But I think you can even see it in the video that the black is just more black. The colors are a little bit more rich. So if you scroll into any of the other primary things, the body battery is going to come in relatively the same. I'm going to just turn this on so it's not going to be that different. But that is really the simple overview. There's really not a lot much more to tell other than what I shared in the beginning of how these two are different. And then the difference between the 745 and the 245, as I mentioned in the initial part, is simply it's going to be one millimeter wider and it's going to be 10 grams heavier. So 46 grams versus 50 grams versus 38 and a half grams on the 245. And then the benefit features are just different. So the 945 clearly just a bigger watch and the 745 just feels like a little bit more compact version. Um, but man, that screen difference is somewhat felt in the clarity. Hopefully Garmin will figure out who their suppliers are going to be going forward. So that is the primary differences between the Garmin 4Runner 945, 745, and even mentioning the 245. Again, this is the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a full review of the 745 to come up in the upcoming days, as well as the final review for the Garmin Elevate heart rate optical sensor to determine its level of um, perfection and its score. Thanks so much for watching.